Hello and welcome back to my channel and if you're new, my name is Marina Christensen, the girl who is too lazy to do her hair. Today's video is about how to boost your immune system and I have 5 simple tips for you to do that and watch the video until the end and find out more about my ebook which is out now! My first tip is to go outside because fresh air is much better than the air in a room. If you don't want to go outside for a walk, at least stand in front of your door for a few minutes, take some deep breath from the fresh air. I personally always feel much better when I go outside and I personally really like to go outside when it's evening because then it's really quiet outside and I can look at the stars and just think a little bit and yeah, take a deep breath from the good fresh air. And that brings me to my second tip, the right breathing. You don't have to breathe the whole day this way, it's really intense and I don't think it's possible to breathe this way the whole day but take in a deep breath for about 3 seconds and then breathe out for 7 to 10 seconds and do this for a few times, maybe multiple times a day. Every time we breathe out we still have air in our lungs and this way you can help to really get out all of these old air out of your body, all of your system and you have more fresh oxygen that can be um, transported in your blood. So try to exhale as long as you can and then inhale for three seconds and then again exhale as long as you can, as long as you have the feeling that there's something in your lungs. And the third tip is food. What you put into your body can help or it can hurt your body. Great things to boost your immune system are antioxidants and things with, sorry, things with um, good essential oils. So I recommend, of course, ginger and or turmeric and pepper, which I use almost every day in my smoothies. And I think they're not only good for your body and health, they're also great taste, great taste. <laughs> Tasting really good. You can put them in your smoothies, you can roast them for your dinner bowls, you can blend them in patties, like you can use this in everything and it always tastes good. Sometimes I like to drink my golden immunity water which contains turmeric, pepper, ginger, lemon juice, clove and yeah these are the five things I always put inside sometimes I do um, mix in a little bit of cinnamon or nutmeg and stuff like that sometimes also um, cayenne pepper and all the things are good for your immune system for example cloves have a lot of antioxidants and they are not only good for your health overall, they are also good for your skin. Cinnamon is good for your blood and cayenne pepper, I mean something spicy hot is always good in the colder season to boost your immune system but also to boost your metabolism that your body actually is rolling. And the fourth tip is reducing stress. Stress is something that can totally destroy your health, your immune system can um, throw you out of balance. So I recommend to try to reduce the negative stress. And I know that always is like easy to say, but you know, you have to take time for yourself. I like to sit down in the afternoon with my nice fruit bowl and just read and this, this 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 meal takes a long time. I'm sitting there and eat this for 40 to 60 minutes. I know that's a long time for a little bowl of fruit, but 
you know, I'm reading while I'm eating and I totally use this time for myself and this is my time and this is my favorite time of the day because I love reading. Find something that calms you down, maybe it's to go for a walk, fresh air, think on breathing, maybe it's to meditate, maybe it's to just listen to some music. For some of you it's maybe great to take a small nap. I personally really can't sleep on the day. I'm always happy when I'm awake. I hate sleeping. But yet yeah, just find something that actually works for you. My fifth tip is to sleep. Yes, I said I don't like sleeping, but still I have to sleep. I have to regenerate. So find the perfect time amount for you to sleep. Some people need only a few hours, some need more. I myself feel my best when I sleep about six hours. And I had very big problems with sleeping. I still have problems with sleeping. Since I use essential oils, I sleep much better. I personally like um, some warm vanilla or my absolute favorite is rosemary. Other things that help with sleep are lavender and peppermint and I don't know, you have to find out yourself what works for you. Really my favorite is rosemary. It's warm, it's a little fresh and I really like that smell. I like to eat rosemary, I like to smell rosemary, so rosemary. Other things that provide a good sleep is to turn out your phone um, very early. Don't eat too much right before you go to bed. Maybe take some time in the bathroom when you wash your face, brush your teeth. Take some time for yourself to actually calm down your mind. Another thing I like to do is the concentrated breathing I talked about in my second tip I think and I have one extra tip for you which is animals when you grew up with animals when you have animals at home you're most likely to stay healthier than other people so if you spend time with animals it's good for your immune system because you have contact with more bacteria and your body will build antibodies that can kill these bacteria, and this way you will stay healthier. And now to my ebook. I present to you my raw bliss ball ebook. It's for small batches because I personally live here with my mother and we don't want to eat like one and the same thing every day because we have a big batch of something and we don't want that it spoils so I created an ebook with <laughs> with the small batches and um, there are 15 recipes inside they're all very delicious they're all super easy to make and I try to use things you can find in any store that you don't have like super fancy and super expensive things inside there are some recipes they are more expensive but I try to use simple ingredients which are available in almost every grocery store you probably have them at home it's from strawberry marmalade shortbread to chocolate crunch and sesame seed vanilla so there's something for everyone. I will put the link down in the description box where you can buy it. Yeah, so go over and buy it. Or you can wait a little while and go over to my Instagram because I will give away two of these ebooks. You can win one of two ebooks until the 24th of December, which is Christmas here in Germany. 
and terms for the giveaway are in the post so go and check my instagram and we will see in my next video next week hopefully next week and until then have a great christmas time well next video it's still not christmas so or is it what's today today is 16th? 16th? I don't know, maybe we will see before Christmas, maybe not, I'm not sure right now, but anyway, I will wish you a wonderful time and I'm happy to see you again in my next video. Goodbye.